Hey everybody, it's Kathy, and today I'm going to be doing a very easy travel makeup look for women over 50. I'm going to be going to Alaska in July. I'm hosting a group of 10 people, so I thought it would be fun to show you the makeup that I plan on taking, and it's going to be just a very simple, basic makeup look. So what I'm going to be using every day for my uh, foundation is the Elta MD Tinted Moisturizer. I love this stuff and it has 40 SPF in it. And I usually just put a pump on the back of my hand and then I just use my fingers to apply. So this trip has been booked now, I think since October or no November of 2022. And actually it started out, I'm the youngest of five children. Uh, I have three brothers. And my sister is the oldest in the family, or eldest. And she's always wanted to go to Alaska. She's never flown, and she's going to be 71 at the end of August. There's 16 years between us. So I said last year, well, if you want to go to Alaska, let's make it happen. She's never really been much of a traveler. So we found a really good deal on both a cruise and airfare. So we booked it in November and now here we are. We're getting ready to leave later in July and it's grown into a group of 10 people. So there'll be me, my husband, my sister, my brother-in-law, my nephew, his girlfriend, my daughter, her boyfriend, and then a couple that is friends with my sister. So it's gonna be a nice group and I'm excited for her. I hope that she likes cruise and I think that she will and you know hopefully she'll get to travel some more. So I also want to show you this little bag I bought from Sephora. It's their brand. It was on sale one day. I bought it to go in my purse just to kind of have a little catch-all for you know lip glosses and stuff like that but it's way too big but it's going to be perfect for travel so everything has to fit into here. I will be taking a checked bag this time because everybody else is as well. And if I forget to mention the product, I'll list it below. So these are the only products that I'm taking. This is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. So yeah, that should be fun. Uh, the weather, I've been keeping an eye on it and it's not going to be terribly hot. Well, I mean, it's Alaska. I was there. I think 14 years ago on the same cruise and it actually was quite warm. It was like 80 one day in June I was wearing shorts. So I'm just taking one pair of shorts, uh, mostly just very casual clothing. I will be doing a capsule wardrobe video showing you everything that I'm taking. I, Whenever I think of Alaska, I think layers are best. And because I live in Canada, we live in a cold climate, you know, 52 Fahrenheit it is like a nice day at the end of March for us. So I don't find that terribly cold. The thing that I don't like is the dampness. I have this tiny travel size. Remember I was telling you uh, last makeup video, sometimes I'll just buy travel size makeup. This is a Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder. I bought it in the travel size and you know, it's a perfect size if you don't wear makeup every day. And I always apply it with the Beauty Blender Puff, Beauty Blender pow Powder Pocket Puff. And then I just like to press powder into the tinted moisturizer. So the tinted moisturizer is acting not only as my sunscreen, but also as my uh, moisturizer. I had just went ahead and put my hyaluronic acid on. I didn't bother with all my other skincare today. My face is a little red today. Probably my blood pressure because I've been running around like mad. I spent nine hours yesterday editing a video and it just ate up my whole Sunday. I was so annoyed. So I never got to go outside. But that was probably a good thing because it was extremely humid and we're still getting smoke from the wildfire. So they had issued a alert. I think yesterday Montreal, I live an hour away from Montreal, had the worst air due to the wildfires in all of the world. Like it's really, really been bad. And that's kind of unusual for us. So yeah, I'm getting excited. I had debated I might just do carry-on only for Alaska, 
But then I thought, well, we paid for luggage in our airfare and everybody else is taking a checked bag, so I might as well do a checked bag as well. I'll still do a small carry-on to take on the plane. And what I like to do, just pack my skincare. I like to take my own hair dryer. I'll take my own hair dryer and then pack a change of clothing for the day we get on the ship. And that way I don't have to open up my big suitcase, which will be locked. Remember to always lock your suitcase. Even if, you know, it's a carry-on and say you can't get bin space near your seat, it's just a good idea to keep it locked. Because most of the time in our carry-on, we have our valuables, right? Like that's what I carry is my iPad, camera, uh, well, medication I keep uh, close to me. But it's just nice to, you know, have a fresh change of clothes too, especially like say if I'm heading south in the winter going on a cruise, I'll put like a dress or some shorts in my carry-on and that way I don't have to open up my check suitcase. So those are just little tips. But I'll definitely be doing a capsule wardrobe video. And then what I wore in Alaska. It's going to be very, very laid back. We've already looked at the menu. The cruise line has already... I can't talk and do this at the same time. This pencil is really nice. It's by L'Oreal. My eyes are so sensitive when I tight line. But the cruise line has already listed some of the activities and some of the dining options in the main dining room for some of the days that we are sailing. What we like to do is we like to have a nice lunch in the dining room. It's usually open for one hour. And then in the evening, we're not that hungry. So my husband just likes to go like to the burger pizza place and we'll eat like out on the deck or we'll go to the uh, Lido buffet. So I'm taking the L'Oreal Lumi bronzer, but I just wanted to show you, I also, have the BK Beauty travel brush set. I haven't used it yet, but I bought it because I thought it's great for travel. But the nice thing is I can take other brushes and they'll still fit in there. And I can put my sponges in here and you know, this could probably even fit. Put a, some lip glosses and things. So it's just a, a great way to make use of space. So I'm just going to use the bronzer as just sort of an all over and I just press it into my skin just to also help set the, the moisturizer. Oh my goodness, I'm having such a tough time talking today. And then I don't like makeup on my neck, but I will pull a little bit of bronzer down. This bronzer is really lovely. I love it. And I think it's probably one of my favorite drugstore purchases. So I, that's probably a video I should do, my favorite drugstore purchases. Because I'm really only getting into drugstore makeup. I was never allowed to uh, wear makeup when I was growing up. And then when I was farming, well, I didn't put makeup on to go to the barn. And I just forgot I wanted to use this. It's something new I wanted to show you. Because it was my birthday last week, Charlotte Tilbury sent me a coupon for $15 off. So I was looking and looking. So I bought another one of her blush wands. I actually sent the sunset color back that I used in my luxury makeup look a few weeks ago. It was just too orange and I thought they're way too expensive to keep if I'm not gonna use it. So I bought this one instead and it is a matte blush. So I'm excited to try this. But I saw this brush and I thought, you know, $15 is a lot of money. So it'd be a good savings. So you just pull the top off like this. That's the brush. And I wanted to use it with the bronzer, but I, I totally forgot. So I will use it in the future and show you what it's like. But if you sign up for her loyalty program on her website, it's free. And if you buy from her website, you get a bunch of different really nice perks, like $15 off for your birthday, deluxe samples. I'm not sure what all is included. I just thought I'd mention that. Let's finish with my uh, eyes. I know I'm jumping all over the place. I also bought this and it's another Laura Mercier cream eyeshadow stick. I love these and this is, I think, Strike a Rose. I have Kiss by a Rose or Kiss a Rose. So now we have Strike the Rose. So I just take it and I drive all over my eyelid. Oh my God, some days I just cannot get my words out. This looks really dark. So we'll just put it on and then I'll come back and work it in. But they're so creamy and they are perfect for travel, perfect for the summer. I do have oily eyelids and as long as I 
you know, put concealer or put a primer on, they pretty much stay put all day. So maybe as I'm getting older, my eyelids aren't as oily. This is a, a nice, really deeper, less shimmery rose color than the other pencil, or not pencil, eyeshadow stick that I have. And then I'll just take, this is just a flat BK Beauty brush, and then I'll just like even it out. I'm just going a tiny bit above the, uh, the orbital bone, not all the way up to the eyebrows. And then let's do the mascara. The mascara that I'm using, I know it's expensive, it's a Chantecaille one, but I want to use it up because it's been open for a while. But any mascara, you know, would do. This has serum in it that helps to strengthen and condition your lashes. And I find every time I use it, I don't use an eyelash primer, I don't curl my lashes. Um, it really lifts and separates them. And it has a big goop on here. Oh gosh, when I get back, I need to empty out this office and do something because it's a disaster and I I just want a different filming space where I can just set my lights up and leave them set up instead of moving all over the house. So now we're going to try the blush. So it's called the Matte Beauty Blush Wand Pink Pillow Talk in Pink Pop. So I think that means it's part of her pillow top collection. So then you just squeeze until you see the product come up. And then I'm probably going to close this because there's going to be some trapped in here. And then I just put it on. I, I like to put it on higher because of wearing face. Just go in line with the outer corner of my eye right on top of my cheekbone. Wow, this is bright. <laughs> Am I going to look like Barbie? I already look like Minnie Mouse. So I just like to... Put both sides on and then I'm just going to take the tip of a beauty blender that I just have um, dampened. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use this concealer brush because I have to wash it anyway and I'm just going to gently buff it in. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It is nice. It's lovely. I like it a lot better than the sunset orange shade. So, so pretty and it does look really matte. Although I can see a bit of a shine, but I think that's just my skin. Wow, that's really pretty. Very, very nice. I'm glad that I sent the other one back and got this one. I hate sending makeup back. I feel like kind of a waste, like it was my fault that I picked the wrong color. But honestly, like I told them in the, the comments, you know how they always ask you for your opinion when you return things, that it really did not look like it did on the website and it had like pink in the the title so you, I would have thought you know it would be pink and not orange but one of my friends told me not to feel so bad because she learned that with Sephora if you send things back they can actually use them as testers in the store so maybe that's the same like if there's a Charlotte Tilbury store somewhere I don't know if we have any in Canada I remember seeing one I think in London London, England. Uh, so yeah, love this, taking that. For my lips, or do I wanna set my, I think I'll set my makeup. This is an oldie. I was looking for a travel size one. My gosh, I've had this for about three years. I hope it's still good. Well, it's almost empty. I could refill it with another one that I have, but it's the Urban Decay setting spray. Smells okay, feels okay. And while this is setting, I'm also gonna show you another sunscreen that I'm going to take is by Elta MD and it is their UV Physical Broad Spectrum SPF with 41. It has a light tint to it, but I believe, I think this is a mineral sunscreen, chemical free sunscreen that uses natural mineral, mineral UV protection. The only thing that I find with this is it doesn't look as tinted as the moisturizer. And I think it's because it has the mineral base in it for the sunscreen. So it's still a nice sunscreen and it's great if you go get a chemical peel or micro microblading, not microblading, micro needling. Put this on. It's actually made for post procedure and extra sensitive skin. So I'm going to take this to Alaska too and I'll use that as a sunscreen. So now we're going to line my lips and I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And I cannot talk when I do this. Makes me think I have to remember to put a a sharpener in my bag and I just like to color in all of my lips and actually this pencil 
is a pretty good match for my lips. It's Pillow Talk 2 Medium. I just like to put a lip gloss over it. And this one is City Beauty City Lips. And I think it's Pink Shimmer. I can really feel the lip, lip plumping action of the City Lips lip gloss. It's supposed to be plumping. And I'm just taking this little Jo Malone Secure Cherry Blossom perfume. It's a very, very tiny bottle. It's the first Jo Malone perfume that I actually like. Uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> wow, I put way too much on. Um, where was I going? It has a very, very light scent. So if you're looking for something that's strong, this probably isn't for you. And then I'm gonna show you my bag. So that has everything that I'm taking. Probably organize it a little bit better, but I have to wash my brushes and then my brushes will go into this. So let me just tell you about what I'm wearing. Um, my earrings, I bought those on a cruise a couple years ago. They're tanzanite, they're very, very pretty. I think I've actually seen them at Macy's. If I can find them, I'll link them, they're by Effie. I've seen them on sale like half price before, I know that. The top that I'm wearing is by Lily Silk. It's just a short sleeve silk blouse. And the pants, I'm wearing those Spanx Air Essentials tapered pants, which I love. They're perfect for travel. I know they're a bit of an investment. I know they're gonna last a long time and be very, very versatile. Okay, so that's it. Be on the lookout for a lot of Alaska cruise videos that I have planned for July and August. In the meantime, if you have not seen my trying out new luxury makeup, get ready with me. I will link it here. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.